talk, honey. You're just financially challenging. <laughs> Welcome to Sandra Said What. Um, thank you for watching. Again, send me your questions that you have for me that you would like me to answer, your topics that you would like for me to cover, to touch on at Sandra Said What at gmail.com and then facebook.com forward slash Sandra Said What. Queen Sandra, no, wrong email, wrong email. Okay. Instagram, Sandra, Nico, N-E-I-K-O. Twitter, Sandra, underscore, normal at gmail.com. Okay? <laughs> so, yeah. But today, we are going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you about... Someone asked me if I would marry for love or if I would marry for money. I would do a combination of both. Please don't get me wrong. Oh, get me wrong if you want to. I would never solely marry for love. That is just unrealistic. Marital problems are among the top reasons why people get divorced or why relationships fail. And it is a very significant factor in relationships. Let's be real, money is a part of our everyday life. Almost every single aspect of our lives is affected by money. Where we live, what we eat, if we can eat, um, if we can go to school and you know it's very it can be very stressful it, can we drive a car can we own a car can we put gas in the car can you pay insurance for the car and things like that so i'm not gonna be unrealistic and i'm not going to school just because i want to waste my time i'm gonna get into a good degree so i can get me a career that can get, help me get money so i can live a more comfortable life or to i have bigger goals by the way than just living a good life i have goals to do bigger things in the future and i have to be realistic the world that we live in is a world that is governed by money we live in a profit over people world and those people there's a lot of people i who say that they would like to make a difference in the world and do things in the future and they're like but i don't want to make money how are you gonna do it you the reality is you cannot do anything anything worthwhile in this world without having money so to say that you don't want to have money you just want to have money to live comfortably comfortably yet you want to make a difference is kind of like an oxymoron there was a survey that was that took place that was conducted and um 35 percent of people say that uh, money problems were the reason why their relationship and in amongst people like from like 44 up to 54 they were they said money was the top reason why their relationships are having problems or why they their relationship failed it's not wise to seek a relationship with someone with a paucity of wealth and insufficient income to provide me with the life that i want and the life that i want for my children in the future i see myself building an empire and money is going to be a big part of that whatever most people don't marry for love just love anyway whether or not you want to believe it most people don't want to marry for love and i would not i am one of those people it's unrealistic for me to say that i want to have a good life i want to leave something that matters behind and i'm not finding out ways to do it first of all not only is like are we gonna have our relationship problems like our everyday relationship problems but once money get into the mix or you're stressing over money you can't pay your bills you can't do things you can't even have fun really you can really have fun in this country particularly i know other places fun is every day all around but like if you want to go to a bar that's money if you want to go to a club that's money if you want to have a barbecue that's money if you want to have family gathering and have a little bit of that's money so money like is part of everything that we do it's almost like oxygen in this world so if i'm with you and i'm already capable of providing myself with a comfortable life and you're not adding to that then what do i need you for i'm gonna go find me somebody who can provide me that life you can call me a gold digger call me a whatever that's just the reality of it i'm a very prudent money manager i'm not asking anybody to go you know be a spendthrift and go balling out you know on things that you can't even afford but i'm saying if i want to 
be able to buy something or I want to open an organization and I need money for that and I'm working hard to save the money to do it and you are here and you're not even helping me what's the point when I can find somebody who can being fine I'm gonna call it financially challenged you're not broke honey you're just financially challenge and i know being financially challenged can lead to anxiety and extreme depression people commit suicide over money because not because they want it's particularly the money it's like if they can't pay their rent and they're stressed out they don't see any way out like committing suicide is part of it is like the inability to envision a better future so people think this is it and it's really sad that people feel that that that's reality I cannot deal with things that I don't want to deal with in my life amino acid is the building blocks of protein and your daily decisions is the building blocks for your everyday life so if I don't want to deal with something I don't want to date somebody who broke I'm not going to if I don't want to date somebody who's this I'm not going to if I don't want to date somebody who's that I'm not going to that's my life I choose how it goes I know I don't have control of every single factor every single thing that happens every day but most of them I do and a lot of people sometimes are irresponsible and things are going downhill or things are not going as they plan or, or as they want and they can't figure it out. You need to look at yourself and see what decisions am I making on my everyday life that's leading me to these results. And sanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. If every time, every day, things are always going wrong in your life, take some. you need to take some accountability and say, okay, what am I doing that's always leading me here? And change that. I strongly dislike parsimonious people. Why would I put myself in that predicament when this is not the life that I want for myself? I choose the way my life goes. I am in control of my life. Believe me, you have control of what you do with your life. You have control with who you love. You have control with who you end up being with, who you build a family with, who you build a future with, all of that nonsense. Like you can't choose who you fall in love with. That's crap because you can't. But I'm not even gonna get into that. Just like I can choose who I fall in love with, I can choose who I have a good life with. And that's not to say that you should be with someone just because you don't love them. But hey, I watch Game of Thrones, okay? You will learn to love people eventually. And if you can't live with that person, divorce exists for a reason. And I don't believe that you are, you have to have one soulmate per lifetime. Maybe you are my soulmate from this time to this time. Now it's time we've grown apart. Our time has come and you do your thing and we get divorced and I go find that the next person that's for this part of my life. So that was my take on it. Take it or leave it. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what, what you guys think about what I said. If you agree, if you disagree, what you would change about what I said. But yeah, basically... That's it. That's how I'm feeling. And I'm going to choose my life. So have a great one. I already said like, comment, share, subscribe. But again, and if you guys could please help me translate my videos into your language or help me add the captions in English, I'm eternally grateful for you. And send me a question, Sandra said what at gmail.com. Instagram, Sandra Nico, N E I K O. Twitter, Sandra underscore normal, N O R M I L facebook.com forward slash central said what thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video